Hey everyone, I'm Tassinix, and welcome to Plotting and Scheming. Uh, we're covering Season 45, 5 vs. 5, Grand Arena Championship, Week 2. I'm here with TJ. Uh, we usually have Dagger here as well. He must be tied up with family or something tonight at the time of the recording, so we don't have him with us. He might drop in later in the show, but we'll see how it goes. How's it going, TJ? That's good, man. It's an unfortunate series of events, I'll call it that way, but it's a solid week. I'm starting it at 13, and again, I'm in the second bracket, which is just going to be bananas for this week coming up. Nice. Nice. Yes. I had a very successful week two. Uh, so, you know, uh, again, recap week one, I was one and two week two. I went three. Oh, so I swept, which the consequence being I am now uh, rank six in the top bracket. And my first match is Cyrus. So that's uh, that's a big a boy. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I have to I have to study that one carefully. All right. Um, let's get right into it. So what worked for us this week? Sound off, sir. The what, what worked? Yeah, what worked um, on offense? What, uh, you know, what? Uh, why don't you start and let me let me just go back to my history. No, real quick. That's no it's problem. not going to be. It's not going to be a much. I, I don't think. That's the nice thing about recording on Tuesday is that we do get that info. So I'm into it. Um, I'll tell you and see if I got anything interesting. Um, I had a couple Star Killer attempts not work out, but that's not worth covering here. We'll cover that later. Yeah, that's right. Um, what really worked out? For so, uh, as far as my uh, my continued testing goes with using Jedi Cal, um, really have been enjoying the uh, set nine with JKL lead. Um, that seems like a reliable sixty three for me. I know if Dagger were here, he would say you know, oh, he up is. and down, he just popped in. up and down that JKR works much better for him, and I am glad he gets good results. I've had the fight be a win for me, but I lost like two of the Jedi. It was just a mess. So you know, for the last week here, I'm gonna take my crutch and then face the music the next fives. You know, with uh, set eleven, we'll see how it is. Dagger, you just popped in. You here? Yeah. Oh, good, good. Welcome, man. Um, well, we were just uh, we were just sounding off on what worked this week. Um, you know, uh, any anything that was of note to you? I have a couple of things to talk about on defense about what worked, but on offense, pretty much everything went as uh, planned for the most part. I know, like, um, I'm a lot more conservative than you guys frequently are, so I generally have enough reserve for offense. I complained a lot about the amount of teams I had left on offense a lot this week. Um, so, yeah, pretty much everything worked. But to your point on that JKR lead thing, let me ask yeah, you yeah, a yeah. question, Ted. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it better? It, let's, let's say you're facing Malgus. Mm -hmm. Is it better or worse to have someone bonked off the rip and die? Yeah, no, I, I, I never contested you on that. I'm just saying, like... <laughs> Like, when I had uh, my Jedi Knight Cal die here this week under JKL lead, Joe Lee brought him back. Like, eh? You know? So, yeah, like, no, I, I was, I was it. big, I, um, it was big enough, uh, you know, there, there was, a, there's a decent chunk of crit damage and offense on the set nine Kron I used. So that could all be contributing to why it's, you know, working well for me. Because you were, I remember you saying last oh. week that everybody who tried that comp with a set nine against you uh, had trouble. So I, I believe it could be, you know, a modding slash, uh, you know, cron thing, cron dependent thing. Yeah, and the the plus side, um, it's no longer a relevant argument. It's true because bulk's gone. Last week, last week. Um. The last hurrah. Well, I'm just saying, like, yes, I'm just saying our ongoing discussion of this can be tabled until bulk. Yeah, yeah, if they should bring it back. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we will see. Uh, um, okay. Anything else that stood out for you on offense, though? Yeah, yeah. So really the biggest benefit, I think, to uh, now that I'm back in the big leagues, these guys have made fun of me the last few months for not being back in the top, like, 20. But now that I'm back, like, on my way back up, like, last week. Yeah. The the staying tight on offense, like, the, the uh, what do you call it? 
the the establishment of counters over the of the politics, the establishment of counters over the first couple of weeks really dictated what I couldn't couldn't do the la- the last week right by watching mm-hmm. other people fuck up mainly yeah. you know TJ mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. so learning from all of our mistakes really let me dial in an offense plan to not have to have fails so I think what I would say for standing out is the planning mm-hmm all right, dig that. Making sure you have all the proper tools. Unconventional answer, but I'll allow it. It's a good one. Um, for me, I got to play it relatively straight. I had players who either weren't going to do the work to, to scout me or, you know, really change it up on me. And those are always, you know, just num, 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 just delicious people I gobble up. Um, and then we had one pretty decent fight where I won by just about 20 banners, somewhere there about. It was, it was a fight's difference. Um, I had one careless error in that fight, but aside from that, it was a pretty strong week for results. I would say as far as going after Seer last week, I didn't mess around. I, I afforded myself Sith Eternal for it, so... Uh, I look forward to checking out and seeing what other, you know, opponents did, um fighting mine and so on and so forth i did see uh what was it tj i was talking about it just a minute before we went live somebody did something cool against mine uh oh yeah, they traded yeah. it they traded it they yeah. traded yeah. it and they lost savage so i'll check out and see what's going on there because i've got a pretty strong savage that might if that's still gonna hold the line then that might that might be the reliable answer because it feels it feels vulnerable, you know, if it, uh, if people are seeing that I'm getting forced into using Sith Eternal there. I believe in the existence of a way to punish that. Um, aside well, from, uh, Sorry, go ahead. If I may. Yeah, go ahead. Because I was so uh, ill-prepared because of uh, I had something come up before this, which is why I'm late. So no um, it, it'll tie in with the defense thing when we get there, but JMK without cap that surprised me with what it could do on offense. Like, I didn't lose with it hmm. um i even came across a team that didn't have cat that inquisitors got absolutely hyped by hmm. so um but i had wiggle room in that fight because i already won um yeah, but yeah jmk with the alacron and with, with snips um you don't actually need snips but yeah yeah i, I took like counselor and guardian and, like, beat up, I, oh, I forget what it was, and he was, like, a Tarful with Han and Chewie. Mm-hmm. And just max bannered a, a Tarful team with Han and Chewie using, like, Ayla. The, 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 when you invert your roster and select those Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> fair. Very so, fair. Yeah. No, that's a good observation. That was a lot of fun. That's good, yeah. Um, I'll also say Reva, you know, having a couple um, off-brand counters now uh, to put on defense. I, I continue to reserve that for offense, and I didn't really have anybody set like a JMK or one of the stronger value options, uh, but it was, you know, nonetheless a very clean kill against kind of just about anything of my choice. Uh, the only other thing that stood out to me on attack was uh, Afra continues to be the answer to any and every job I encounter. So, uh, huzzah, hooray, Afra carries the day. All right, uh, let's move on to the second segment. What didn't work? What abandoned us? What left us for dead? Uh, I've, I'm just going to go first real quick since mine should be fairly brief. Uh, I had Starkiller... Timeout a couple times this week on Ray. Um, one was a timeout and uh, where it was, you know, just a couple characters standing and it was a cleanup. The other one was like, man, I had, um, I had a, like a dodge on Zerus allowed her to get a turn, uh, but she was still ability blocked. But because she her random dispel like hit Ray. Something like that? I, or does that only hit Jedi? I forget. Anyway, the point is, is Rey, unex- like, earlier than I, uh, like, I was otherwise resetting her turn meter, but, um, man, she managed to get into ultimate, and then she was just in ultimate forever. 
just forever, man. I want to say something like over a minute. It was insane how long she was in there. And I'm just turn, 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 turn forever. So, so Starkiller let me down a couple times last week. That's disappointing. Um, I've been using Shock Bad Batch to take on Qui-Gons that are just straight up too fast. And I think looking back, I misplayed it. But I had that fail for the first time for me against a Qui-Gon, so that was very disappointing. Um, what else? Anything else? No, that's about it. It was otherwise a pretty great week. So, TJ? I want to call you up first, though, being an asshole. Uh, I know I didn't have much work, but I would have liked to have talked about what worked as well. But, you know, that's fine, Tass, if we want to be a jerk I thought about we it. talked. We'll, we'll, skip well you know what? I it. thought we... Um... It, it doesn't even matter, dude. It was such a debacle this week this of, is the second of week failures. Of the second week, and I'm just going to skip TJ on an entire yeah. section. So, but we're going... No, but that's, here's not, the, here, that's here, not... Here's the, no, but here's the good thing. Nothing really worked, so it's okay. You, did, you didn't hurt my feelings at all because it's like, I really want to talk about... I thought we story. got you before Dagger joined oh. us. Nope, Jagger jumped right in and was able to go, and then it just segued. But that that week, but you this truly, but week, you truly have nothing to add on something working well for I, you on there's offense. There's no color. There's no there's no color context other than to say um, figuring out the Treya setups and the things on the Malakos was nice. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, somebody tried to be tricky with JMK, and I was able to read with that. There was there was pieces, but it's nothing to speak of. It's nothing interesting. The the fails this week were were huge, but I would imagine, because as one of our brain trust and arms, uh, Sasha and I faced each other, I, I think there was a lot learned. So yeah. the one thing I take away from this week was I learned so much. Um, it's just unfortunate what it costs to learn it, right? It's the, the well, what were, what were of some of Thanos. the things that you were expecting to work that really just fell apart on you? Can you name a it's, couple? So if we're going to go anything off that, that I wanted to work, uh, I've seen things happen with like trying an off meta Leia counter, uh, was trying that and just did not work. Um, trying to figure out the specifics of using Java mm -hmm. on Leia did not work. Uh, trying to figure out the specifics of how hard we can push uh, other counters other than Treya, right? We've talked about it internally and there's pieces to the puzzle for that. Um, but trying to be able to set Treya and use other things to kill Malakos and, and figuring out how that's going to work. We learned things there. Um, was trying gas on the certain things and that wasn't working as well. So it's I, I basically got stretched real thin this week and I don't expect it to be any better. Um, but I always say to check my history. I, I learned so many things. I, I was looking through all the pieces and I, I don't even have a, a number. It's like I'm in double digits of how many things I learned this week. Wow. All right, well, you're going to have a fun section three here in the video. Yeah. All right. Dagger, what, uh, you, sounds like you had a smooth week like me, but did anything let you down? Yeah, yeah. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I, I tried to Reva a JMK with no cat, and uh, yeah, yeah. I I did torture with the first move instead of the ability block, and then my GI just disappeared. Boom, boom, boom. Just extra, yeah, and 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 then like on the like before my next inquisitor. Ooh, breaking up a bit there. Uh oh, breaking up a little bit. Oh, there. sorry. Now you're good. All right. Um, but yeah, basically before I was able to get anything really going, uh, I had seventh and GI just dead. There was not really any coming back from that. Wow. So, so did they I have the speed up basic? For free. Did, did they have yeah. the speed up three? Yeah, man. I can believe that. Yeah. I, I can believe that. I can believe that. Yeah. I can believe them circling on you and, and making that rough. So, yeah, I see that. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm. The other thing that didn't work was, uh, well, it worked hit or miss. Uh, uh, Gid made versus uh, Seer. Mm, yeah, right. right. Gidme versus here was a little hit or miss. Yeah, um, and and I know, and I don't think we're going into it, but I did. Uh, I thought that that theory craft that uh, you you three you TJ and Sasha came up around that was pretty interesting. So I, I look forward to hearing your results on that at the end of the season. 
I was pressed, so I wasn't able to remod. So I look forward Shameful. to hearing DJ and Sasha how it goes. That's right. All right. All right. Do your duty, uh, TJ. Provide us that sweet, delicious intel. Uh, that's the plan. Next I week. think it's going to be a successful one. Yeah, I, I, I expect great things. Um, hmm. Our pieces of the puzzle, I think, are coming together very nicely. Mm -hmm. The only thing I, I will have to say that that's going to hurt my feelings is when, for that one specifically, the bulk goes away. The bulk mm -hmm. feels good with that one specifically. Mm -hmm. Also, one last note on this, please. Um, I find it I find it hilarious that Cass is struggling to be ready to start killer when I'm over here beating uh, Ray Cass with my target time spare. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm happy to go over the, vi you know, I'm, hmm, let me think about it. I really don't think there was a period where I was really stuck behind L3 for a long time. It's just, uh, something, something cleansed her, something, there wasn't an RJT in the team to cleanse her, but something allowed the otherwise, uh, locked down Ray to get into that first ultimate, and then she was there forever. I checked the speed after the match, she wasn't ungodly slow, she was like, 525? So, I don't know, man, that was, that was a weird one, that last one. But yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah, yeah. That was I'm, I'm open to reviewing it just to see, just to see if uh, something went wrong. All right, but yeah. You know where the YouTube is. Give your boy a view. You seem to have a lot of. You just seem to have a lot of issue with that, and like. Yeah. You know, I, I honestly, the last couple of seasons uh, have been very strong for that. I would say only this last week has featured just a couple really. Mm -hmm. Stand out uh, instances of it just failing, but yeah, the the vod is uh, is available. Titles and all, or chapters and all. Uh, okay, well, let's move on to section three here. Uh, you know what we're taking away. You know what we're taking away to next week. Oh no, wait, sorry. Section three is actually standout defenses now. Did you have any overperforming defenses this week? We'll uh, we'll start with TJ. Uh, I, I still call it man, and, it, and it's you just don't know what you're gonna get, and it's easily uh, underestimated. It's the the Tarful teams. They have so many utility ways to put things, and 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 the daggers called it out before, and I, and I have to tend to agree. If you can stress your opponent um, with the other teams, and what they have left is a Tarful. A Tarful can be unsurprisingly very difficult. Uh, to mac up, right? And it's just like, and it becomes that, right? Yeah, if, you have, if you have the tools, if, yeah, right? If you if you have the tools, it's it's fine, right? You can do it. But if you try to underestimate it, like you would do, like a Malakos or these other things, this Tarful team does not go away, and it gets very surprising holds where it's like, why did that hold? And it could be a misplay, it could be anything else. But mm -hmm. but Tarful continues to just be um, a monster, and it's like. You do one wrinkle. Uh, Dagger and I talked about it, and we were piecemealing it, and Dagger came up with like uh, what I think is a great team. And it's just two people changed out. And it was like, why don't we just like, man, that's a great call. Why don't we add that? And it was adding Han and Chewie. And mm -hmm. it just changes your fight because you, you're trying to deal with the concept. And like, oh, they're almost dead. And all of a sudden, they're not. And then you're dead. Yeah. I take credit, but that was not an original opinion. Right. Well, I know right. I didn't come up with it, but I'll tell you what, I, I'm, I'm here to testify. That also was a strong performer for me as well. The Zalbar Chewy Han Hondo, that, um, that overworked a lot of people. Now, in every case where it was difficult for them to deal with, they also suffered a bit up front. And I did always have Tarful in the back, um, even just the last two weeks, but it was just this yeah. last week where we ran that comp. But every time Tarful was taxing somebody, it was after they struggled up front. And uh, that is that is a nasty bit of business when I still had something like non-alt Leia back there. And even your boy Ewoks. Ewoks did uh, got a hold for me last week. Um, 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I kind of interceded. Well, that was a fun on one. No, I, I, just get... I, I do have to make call to okay. one more team. Yeah, no, please. I, I, the, I realized the, I stepped in on the that. worst sorry. offensive GL took eight holds against one of my opponents, and I looked at what he was using right now. Yeah. And he literally took the trunk and threw it and fail, 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 fail. Yeah. JML was a fail. Uh, he was taking so many pieces, and it's like for being the worst GL for off uh, for defense, it feels pretty defensive. And, mm-hmm. and what it's doing is pretty great things, and this week's even worse because now I've got the old. So so welcome to hell, boys. CG um, propaganda, maybe. That I just I I think and, uh, they yeah. underestimate as how good something watched is. TJ throw like a, yeah, as someone who watched TJ throw like eleven fights. Jeez, oh, you broke off there. She's okay. Yeah, she's just all right. She's I, right. but yeah, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty and, good. I watched TJ through like eleven teams at Sasha, and, and we were trying mm-hmm. it, and it was mm-hmm. great to see. And it's like, yeah, we're going. And what's what's crazy is we're just tipping the iceberg on her modding and her setup. And yeah. those two crons are are coming out eleven. Drogan has a data cron. Leia has a data cron. Wedge actually has a really good. So it's like. We haven't even. Well, tipped. yeah, we're going to cover that next section. Nah, oh, no, no, it's okay, away. but I just want to call it out. It's like no, yeah, there's synergy calling, for yeah, sure. CG, CG's calling this out for uh, for Leia, and I'm like, man, either they don't know how to play the game, which is fine, it's whatever. But they build some great kits, and and the one thing that this game is is kits. So hmm. it's just like chef kits, uh, what I think we're going to be expecting. But Leia, Leia was uh, a monster on offense and defense. If you mm-hmm. faced her, oh my god, it was just horrible. And it was awesome. We yeah. learned a bunch. I'll leave it there. Yeah, I got to overpower. Uh, did, did I even fight one? No, I don't think I fought one on defense last week, actually. Everybody saved theirs against me. So, if I can give you this, this will this will make it good for you. Uh, we're, it, JML, JKL, JKR, GMY, and Joe Lee. Mm. This is again his ult. He had a 98 protec- uh, protection bolt cron. And against my non ult, uh, uh, Leia, four still alive, one dead. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah you she- gotta take the turn meter crown, the turn meter L6. Yeah, she's, she's, she's horrible on defense. <laughs> <laughs> she's just horrible on defense. I, but think, yeah, I, she, I think she, yeah, I think she's good now because people don't know, don't know how to beat her. I think that she does have a couple of reasonably, I don't want to call them cheap, but effective solutions from my own testing in arena. Mm-hmm. So I, I think we can talk more about that, you know, later this week when we're t- just plotting and scheming. But yeah, I think that there's some, I think there's some very consistent counters. I, I don't know how long Leia is going to be on defense outside of being something to stretch your opponents. Mm-hmm. But yeah, yeah, she's she's very good. She's a GL. Who knew? I, I would expect right. I, I would expect our conversation coming up. I'm I'm gonna be super excited. I want to say you could probably trademark a Leia section because we're going into threes. And again, don't want to go off the, the beaten path here, but going into threes and how this team, yeah, Whew. and the new we're gonna have combo. a anyway. good we're gonna have a good video on the one it's, that's in between seasons about yeah, talking yeah. about that for i'm sure. excited man yeah. i am yeah. super that's gonna excited be fun. Dude, no it's I'll, a big shift adding a gl gonna, to the mix I'm, yeah i'm gonna pressure task into letting us go and maybe past an hour if if possible because there's so much to talk about yeah we'll see we'll see all right um <laughs> so any other standout defenses dagger yeah well you've you've talked about this a lot in the past so i'll just cliff notes it Trey on defense is pretty good since people don't place Reva anymore because, you know, whatever. She's not per- – she has she has too many cheap solutions. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't say cheap. Right now, I think she has too many solutions to be able to trap someone. Yeah. Um. So, Trey going on defense is, was, has been good this week. Mm. Obviously, Malikos. Like, don't even need to, like, really say that, I don't think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, T- Tarful continues to be the last team in the back, and we beat this drum a lot. Tarful is the newest, worst team on your board. And if you have nothing left, it's really hard to kill. And because when they stack defense, they gain offense, it's just one of those teams where they're so thick that you need a real team to get through them, and they're really hard to just, like, power through over time because they just keep stacking offense. It's true. 
Yeah, yeah, and then of course, uh, my coup de grace, my my crowning achievement of the week, the thing that carried me this week, Raycat GK. Yeah, that's uh, hey, wow. that can be hey. that can be challenging. Yeah, 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 and that that's uh, that's why it was so nice that you were having such success with your JMK on offense without her. So yes, good, good, yes. good. good. Uh, by far, like Pete fails with Star Killer, Ray Mirrors. JMK Cat. Oh, just mm, chef's kiss. All where, week long, that team was just... Sorry. Where the rave mirrors happened, uh, were they timing out or straight up losing? Yeah. Yeah, one time I won loss, I think. I'd have to go back and double oh, check. Wow. Okay, fair enough. All right, that's interesting. Any others for you, Dagger, I, that stood out? Um, I mean, my love wants to started to get more holds <laughs> because the bias got buffed. That's crazy. That's crazy. Right. Man. So people are too people are too shotting Leviathan now more often, which leaves them with less for like the last fleet because they have to come correct at triple attacker and they have to come correct at levy, and then sometimes it's like Holdo. Their Holdo was a first attack versus you know malevolence kind of thing. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I faced three faith, uh, faithless people last week. All of them kept Leviathan for offense, so. Quite literally smooth sailing for me on fleet this last week. We have to, I mean, we have to, you have to call out, like I said, and again, I, and I said it and I'll say it like this again. That's, that's unfortunately how I got my win on Sasha. And mm. that, that was the only reason I will call me because I, I shit the bed everywhere, right? We were trying yeah, things. Yeah, it was yeah. a great time. We were doing it all together. I was failing left and right. Um, we had a standing yeah, agreement, and the oh, oh we, it was true. But I learned what well, we learned a yeah. bunch, which was perfect, right? And that's yeah. why I think it's like we can't even put it in the in the bod because it's it's really good information that we learned uh, mm -hmm. off of my fails. And mm -hmm. I, I hate to learn that way, but we did. Um, but what got me the win was fleets, and unfortunately, and I even had to tell us, Josh, like, what is this? He cheesed the fleets, and then tried something, and it and it led him down a dark path. And that's why it's like <laughs> fleets continue to be the equalizer where uh, and dagger <laughs> dagger dagger pulls the TJ as as names given for good reason. When yeah. it comes to fleet, you easily go down such a dark path so fast where everything works every time, and then one time it doesn't. What you're left with is just bad problems. Yeah, and forever will they dominate problem, your dude. destiny. So the problem he had, yeah, the problem that he had in fleet, we all solved that as a group, right? We we all have the the way to do that with we basically not to go into too much detail but but our fleet problems for the most part have been solved as a group thankfully mm -hmm. so fingers crossed that continues to be the case and that we don't just catch ourselves out yeah we will see um as yeah. far as any real standouts for me yeah um i had a couple holds with all of the GLs, so none of those are really noteworthy because it was the usual suspects that tried and died. Um, Finn held. That was a good one. Um, let's see here. Anything else? Well, I'd say that's about it. Yeah, the Seer. The Seer people, <laughs> people did not mess around with my Seer for the most part. Uh, they used something serious to take it out, so you know, credit to them there. So, oh, yeah, and I already mentioned that uh, one Ewoks hold. Uh, you know, uh, I'm just delighted. I'm just delighted. When would you think that would happen? But uh, it happened. I dig it. I, I, I'm i smiling remembering the conversation leading up to you setting that. Mm -hmm. Because basically we were just, like, throwing teams against the wall to see what yeah. would stick. And it's like, like I should set this. And it's like, no, this beats that. And then we were, like, just... And then he's like, fine, I'll just set Ewoks then. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, that was, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. And, and you know what? It worked. It worked. And then my yeah. next round opponent, yeah. who I, I, I kept it down the, the, for two rounds in a row, and uh, Visago just like 65'd it with Rogue One. It's like, all right. All right, I see you. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, all right, moving into our next segment here, because I know we're burning through time. Um, where are we right now? Yeah, we're closing in on a half hour. So what we're taking away for next week, um, obviously, you know, we have, uh, I don't think we're going to have time in this video to really go into anything we think about the new Datacron set details that were released. We'll go over that um, 
you know, at the, at the end of the, or in the next video, or in the in-between video, because that's going to lead into the first season where those crowns really apply. Um, but as mm -hmm. far as takeaways for this week, this is the first week with Galactic Legend, uh, Leia, with Ultimate, with, like, most everybody in our neck of the woods. Like, maybe only a, a couple of people had banked enough energy to have it literally first week that it was possible. Um, there's a lot more of them, myself included. So what do we think that Ultimate Leia means this week? Are we still fielding it on defense? Are we expecting to see our opponents do that? Are they going to, you know, is, is it wiser to see it held to clobber something? Maybe even nope. mirror match. I don't know. What do you think? People don't know it. And I'm going to call it just like this. What you had last week were... Precious few, and we'll go to the Kraken level, who had full alt Leia. Mm -hmm. I've played full alt Leia, thankfully and unfortunately, uh, to see what it's capable of, mm -hmm. and people are not ready. So what Dagger's thing of the new, Leia is a pain in the ass team without alt. Mm -hmm. With alt and being able to bring people back, they're not ready. They, they are not ready it. for what's going to be and what they're going to expect. And I, I am super excited to, to say this monster is going to be the VIP to end fives. That's what I fully expect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dagger, your thoughts? Leia? Yeah, to kind of, to kind of, well, yeah, to kind of echo TJ, I think you're going to put it on defense because it's new and then it's going to have a data crunch for four months. So in about four months and two weeks, um, you'll probably pull Leia off defense. Because again, yeah. I've done some testing with it, and I'm not again, I'm not going to call them cheap, but Leia has several effective counters against all. Yeah, and if those now, I'm if probably going to play with them in GAC, mm -hmm. but you know it, it is what it is, and, and and but those counters aren't really widely known for this week, and then yeah. she's going to have a cron, so they're just not going to work anyway. I, I will say the only thing I, <laughs> like, the only thing I'm going to counter what Dagger is saying is that. In arena testing, to me, is not the same as GAC testing. I'm mm -hmm. not calling that out to say the dagger is not correct. Mm -hmm. Only that we still have Drogon with an Omicron. And if you have that Omicron, that's not yeah. saying it's exactly the same fight. A dagger or somebody who's well <laughs> yeah. aware of kits and pieces will figure this out. I'm not calling it not true. But dagger's point is correct that this is so new and that we have now most people having an ult Leia or now having Leia. Um, and they have Drogon, and if they have the Omicron, you're fighting a different fight. Mm. And these bulk crons for Leia are amazing. Yes. It's bulk. Um, like, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that yeah. was what I was actually getting to, TJ. Yeah. That she's being propped up by bulk right now, mm. and then she'll be propped up by her cron. So right. when bulk and her crons are gone, I think we'll see more of what she's capable of. Remember how we got really disappointed in Afra for a couple months, and then she yeah. was still kicking the crap out of Jabba and like. All these other things, anyways. Yeah, I always um, believe. For the record, I, I always. Like, it'll be faith. one of those kind of things. Yeah, I think it's fair. Mm -hmm. Well, no one can. <laughs> All right. Well, first, first off, when when I add on my DT one and put eighteen K offense on him and have four hundred percent potency on my R thirteen Afro, we can have a conversation about it. Work. I don't think I have eighteen K on mine. I'm being hyperbolic. My point is, you have probably the, the top five Afro team in the entire game. And mine is like above it's, average. It's true. It, it it is true that your <laughs> your Afro is not not like the average man. You can't walk into the bar together and say, "Look, we both have Afro." No, you don't. You have Afro. Yeah, we yeah. Have stuff. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Tass is like, I don't know why your Afro doesn't work, and I run right. the bot comparing and it's like a thousand more offense at R nine. Right. It's it's like, just we are it's not just, the same. Have, <laughs> right. It's not the same. And those pieces do matter. It's the yeah. same thing. It's like I can take gas to beat Ray. Well, let's go compare the gases. No, those aren't the same. Mm. My gas is killing good stuff, yeah. but not killing. So it's it's just that type of situation why it's like yeah. after it continues to work. You're not wrong, Tash. Yeah. yeah you're not right. wrong, Tash. It's just the number of people that can replicate your success is very low. No, right. fair, 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 fair. Uh, fair, 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 fair. Uh, very fair. I, I, I mean, you know, I, I can only I can only speak on what I got and what I do with what yep. I got. Oh, you know? highlight, highlight of the week. Really quick for me, at least, just to kind of close this out. Um, I don't know if we're too like the closing part. Really, not like not quite. Part. Well, that depends on whether or not you guys okay. have anything else you're taking for. But go ahead, say it anyway. Go ahead. Oh, R nine bays, and I'll have R nine Kenobi in like two weeks. 
in like a four or three v three. Wow! Shots. Wow! Wow! That's a good choice. I mean, my my Kenobi's R eight, and I've definitely put him on my short list list to think about for R nine. But I feel like I still want to do Drogon first. So, so I don't know. I, I don't think I, it should I, be I necessary with the throne. I have to concur. With Dagger, I went from an R5, my base is now R8, my Kenobi is now uh, R8. Expect they will all be R9s, my Drogon will also... I, uh, he doesn't need R9. Let's 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 confirm this out, because people ask this question, like, what do I do first? He Drogon doesn't need R9, but like every other lifter unit, Drogon is the team's lifter unit. So if he can survive just that much longer uh, and make you that much more miserable, it's a, it's a great add-on. Just like yeah, well, it's ben. a heavy yeah. amount of health gained multiplied further by the fifty percent with the Omicron. Like it's it's just it, yeah, it is, yeah. I mean, it like is an enormous gain to be sure. The yeah, the priority on the team is Leia, Old Ben. Then if you're using another tank, that tank like Bayes, then R two, then Drogon. And I, like, I Drogon I, is the lowest priority on the team, but he is someone who I think you eventually want to I, take to R nine if you're in a world where R nine's matter. I think Dagger not will talk in a world. Past- See, I'll, I'll say the difference though. I think R two has a higher priority, but the characters. That, 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 I, but but I think I think it's basically Leia, and then R two is right at the very top, right? But I but no, Leia I gives R two so much survivability that the difference between R eight and R nine is so negligible. That's but that's what I mean, right? We, we could be here for hours. The, the difference about between R eight and Old Ben. Yeah, the difference between R eight and R nine Old Ben is. A leap. The difference between R eight and R nine, R two is like a uh, 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 tiptoe. You, you are not wrong, except for the seventy five percent that Leia gets. Right. I was about so, to say that getting right. pushed through. No, I no, mean, but, don't but, get me wrong. It's not that big seven, though, because my my R two. But no, that's that's seventy five percent of six hundred health and six hundred protection. Well, well, 6, protection. well, I was no. gonna say it's what the, so negligible in the grand scheme of things. Well, 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 what, what I was gonna say is the jump for me. My R2 uh, was 122,000 health at Relic 8, and now at Relic 9, it's like 130. So it ended up being, right. with my mod set up, something like 8K. So 8K is not nothing, but it's probably not breaking the bank, so to your point, Dagger. Um, yeah, and, and you and I firmly am in the camp of offense mod and R2 because you need Drogon to have offense, and the team has just a bajillion, kajillion, gazillion survivability already. Mm. That is not the thing you need. Hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Because Mike R two is like 100k health at R eight with offense bonds. Mm-hmm. So like, and he's getting the 75. So again, the difference between my R two at offense and your R two at health is your team is getting like four and a half k or five k more health and protection, whereas mine are getting like eight k more offense or six k more offense or something like that. Well, what's what's the special offense on your R two right now? Uh, I'd, already, I don't know, I'd have to look. It's like twelve k, thirteen k. Yeah, higher. yeah. So my, so I, I've seen people that have more of an offensive setup, and they'll usually have something. I want to say about thirteen five, right? So about thirteen five is about some of the better ones. Probably not the best. Maybe you could push up closer around fourteen, something of the kind. Um, but mine is like twelve nine with all those health primaries. So I can probably look at, at I can probably yeah at R nine and I'm right I'm just saying damage being you know the the number is the number and uh, and I'm saying I could look at probably juggling a couple of those primaries around but my intuition was to go with the health because I went with the very fast lay uh, Leia this week so I lost a bit of health in the trade and I thought there was you know. Nothing lost in making it bigger, especially since if I do set it on defense, it would be with a set nine that would feature, in addition to defense, some health, you know, further boosting that value. So that was my thinking. Uh, yeah, but, yeah, no, no argument see? there. Well, this is like an optimization thing we can hash. Yeah, out yeah, later. yeah. No, that, no. This is people are people. But, this is what yeah. people want to know about. We can we can go a few more yeah, minutes yeah. talking about Leia. This is what people want. So. Yeah, That's yeah. Fine. the the base The base thing is what what Tass always what Tass tends to preach to people is you mod people to do things what they don't do for themselves. Yes. The Leia team has infinite survivability. What it doesn't have is infinite damage. Well, so you mod R two to give the team what it doesn't already do. See, it's funny. Last week we can go back to last week's vod, and you were saying that the uh, Leia team doesn't need to worry so much about offense except for Drogon because of stacking no, master Leia. 
I said Leia. Mm-hmm. And because you have two tanks. The only damage dealer on the team is Drogon. But mm-hmm. if you leave it to only Drogon, mm-hmm. man, I have seen that team get walked on by gas. Mm-hmm. All right. Like, All right. That's fair. They have no damage. If they have no damage, like... Um, so and it changes with alt obviously, and I don't have alt because I'm one of those poor people yeah, who yeah. was tapped getting Leia. So yeah, I couldn't you refresh from the four hundred. You sleep outside. Just keep... That's right, as they say. Yeah, that is out. The car, go be, be, go be poor somewhere yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> Any, uh, anyway, but yeah, yeah. I, I, it would be an interesting thing to maybe discuss next week more in depth about Leia, especially if we yeah. can get our uh, special guest on board. Yep. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! It would be super cool. We'll see. We'll see. I, you know, we'll 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 not spoil that for the people, but we'll see how it goes. Um, all right. Any final? Well, not final thoughts. That is the next segment. But anything else we wanted to add here on lessons learned? What we're taking forward into the next week? Um, any you know anything that you don't consider your top secret sauce? Anything else, guys? No. Sounds like a no. Sounds like a no. Yeah, this stuff is close to your chest <laughs> is what it is right, okay. right now. Okay, all right, all right. Because all right. this week going in, we're, we're losing the bulk. Uh, everybody knows what potential counters are going to be, so I think it's this is now the strategy time. This is where I like to, to be the most, where I've learned the things I've learned and can now apply it to my opponents uh, to try to stress them what I think is going to happen. So I think this one is a close to the chest week um, because once bulk is gone, we're in a brand new game, and that's, I think, a long hour conversation uh, next week. Yeah, all right. Um, well, we well, let's think about this. We actually have the thirty minute next week that's going to cover week three, and then we have the long hour that uh, the that covers the break week. So we're we're you know a couple weeks sure. off from that conversation. Sure. No, but, no, yeah, that's cool. good to keep that's keep keep, right. keep notes though. Keep yourself a notepad file or something with anything that you're putting together along the way. It'll be a no. juicy one when we get there. Uh, sorry, Daddy, you were saying something. Oh no! I was. We could talk about it afterwards. I was going to. I was going to uh, offer an adjustment to the schedule, but that's nothing. Yeah, for yeah, this yeah. Video. We'll, we'll cover that. We'll cover that later. Um, all right. Yeah, so, yeah. so you know, um, any final thoughts here? We turn to the wrap up segment. So we've had uh, a couple. You know, we're, we're facing the last. We, we had an easy week one because that was a repeat of the last five season. This is our first, uh, you know, week here with Leia in, and we mostly threw her on defense. And uh, you know, folks can check Swag It Out GG about was what was tearing that up without ultimate. But you know, we're, we're, we once again enter new territory, and it's just endless new territory. It feels right. So it's new territory with alt layers everywhere this week, and then we have new Datacron set active for next threes. But you know, that's that's either here nor there. But as we head into this final week, um, any last thoughts, guys? Dagger, you go first this time. Yeah, yeah. I can only think. The first thing that pops to mind is the Martin Luther King uh, quote of, uh, I've had a dream that one day we would not have to deal with these bulk crowns in 3v3. Yes. Um, that is upon us. Yes. Last yes. week of, well, oh, breathe, breathe that side relief of, we're losing seventy five health and percent health and protection and four hundred percent defense on GLs. Just breathe with me, guys. We're almost through this. Yeah, Ray Ray becomes much less dangerous in that context. So, I'm you know we'll see. Um, it's going to be it and is, fucking Java. that's true. Java as well. It is going to be really Sorry, that, wild. That's my up on TJ. Yep. Yep. It's going to be really <laughs> wild to see how this affects the next threes because we've had such a rigid uh, threes meta for the last couple of seasons. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be absurdly <laughs> disruptive. But, anyway, enough on threes. Um, you, anything else here uh, from you, Dagger? No, 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 no. I'm just happy that this is the last draw for bulk. No, I hear, I hear that. So, bulk on the way on out. TJ, what you got? Final thoughts for the people. This is do your homework week. Um, it's always do your homework it, week, it, right? But it's it's more so now. People, if you want to this win, is, this is finals week. You, you this that, is finals that's what I call that's it. What you gotta say. This is okay. the final countdown. Yeah. You you need to do your homework this week. Everybody right. knows everything. No, nothing is really going to be a surprise if you just try to go in. I'm going to keep whatever it is. I, expect you're probably not going to win GAC. And if you don't care, that's fine. But if you do care, and I'm assuming you're listening, you do. Do your homework. 
Fair enough. Any other thoughts? I, I think that's simple enough right now because everything is close to your chest right now. Because sure. where I'm at again, I'm top, second bracket again. It's going to be nuts again. It's like I can't give anything away of what I'm <laughs> thinking uh, mm -hmm. because that might go to somebody who might be listening. And we can't have that. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll say this Cash to the is in folks. first bracket. TJ's in second bracket. I'm in third bracket. Let's right. go. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> Isn't that cool, guys? I think this is a first here for the series, guys, where we've actually had it lined up this way, where we're all in adjacent brackets starting from the top. So that's pretty cool. That is yeah. that is a unique opportunity yeah. to get some interesting feedback on on I'd say those top what forty ranks thirty ranks what 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 uh, bracket are you in yeah uh, Dagger? no he's he's uh, I'm in the seventeen through twenty four seventeen he's literally right outside I'm eighteen was, there it is yeah he was okay. seriously two away from being with me in the second bracket that's nice. that's how nice. close oh man I would really love got. the free win against TJ yeah, if that he would thinks be he's fun. gonna get the free win he can go suck a D <laughs> I, I didn't put the ick in there but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, as as for me, my final thought is um, a classic mistake that I make in the last week is pulling too many games with draws up front, and then they're able to overwhelm that, and uh, you know they're able to take their pick about how they want to deal with that, and then when they get to my solid you know, set of GLs in the back, they're well and truly armed because they didn't use any of those draws up front. Um, you know, very rarely do I have that work out my, uh, my way. So a rule I made for myself a, a few seasons ago, and I, and I try to follow it here in week three, is whatever it is I'm thinking to set that's like my super bad teams, whether that's GL or not, like my super bad defensive teams... I'm going to probably skew them mostly up front and keep it honest. Because if somebody's going to get jammed up and shed banners, they're going to do it when they have the fewest options. And so I think I'm mostly going to play it honest. But like TJ was saying, everything is scout dependent. I mean, and you all know I, I preach that till the day I'm done with this game. Um, uh, you, you don't play the game, you play the man. So whatever it Unless is. Unless you play that me. I, and then you just, and you just let it ride. Sure, 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 yes. Let everything roll over from the previous week. Change nothing, yes. So, yeah, yeah. so that's yeah. my that's that's pretty much my final thought is keep keep your defense honest less lest you outplay yourself unless your scout yeah. reveals your opponent to be very vulnerable to a certain thing. So that, that's Home about it. your TJ at the end no, You you broke up there. Try it again. Try it again there. Oh, I said, don't lecture at the end of the video, goddammit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, anyways, um, that's about it for us here. So, Sorry. as always, uh, thank you, Dagger. Thank you, TJ. Appreciate you guys making the time. We're actually just under an hour away from the new episode of Ahsoka, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, man, I really hate that they killed the group watch feature on Disney+. Plus. That really chaps my ass, but I'm still going to see it dude, nonetheless. With dude, my boys. entire... You were saying? Go ahead. Like, to those of you with daughters, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, you broke, you broke up there, then, though. Oh, man. Oh. oh, I just said, like, I can't wait for Ahsoka because my hand has been Travis Kelsey and Ahsoka. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Wow. All right. Well, we'll yep. uh, we'll we'll catch up on that tonight. All right, guys. Well, anyway, well, you know, this one ran a little longer than we usually go for, but we also I think it was worth your time covering uh, that bit on on Leia and how we plan to see her. Uh, however, we'll see you next week for the season, you know, wrap up, and uh, for all of our patrons, this will be immediately available. Um, you know, tomorrow morning, immediately, I mean, as soon as it's available, it will be tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning, um, on YouTube for patrons, for all of our other followers here on YouTube, that will show up on Friday. Um, please give us, uh, any comments, any feedback, anything you want to see in future videos in the comments. Uh, we do want to make the content that you want to see, and we have, a, we've had a pretty organic growth in the way that, um the show has gone on in, in the way that we cover the segments, but we're always open to, uh, to what the folks want to see. So leave us those comments and, uh, until next time, 
It's been real. It's been awesome. It's been real awesome. Take care.